Hello right, there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Kai's right playing, of course, as the Polish state. We are playing this live at twitch.tv slash Alger Hill. Hello, Nightmare. Psh, not Iron Man mode. What are the, the achievements? Well, Nightmare, I'm actually playing a uh, mod, Kaiserreich. Never play mods for Paradox games on Iron Man. Only sadness awaits you there. So, of course, I'm playing on, uh, not Iron Man. I do always play Iron Man with Crusader Kings, however, because I cannot trust myself not to cheat with CK2. Because there's just too many bullshit things that happen. I feel like... That's way too south. Is that the, is that, is that the real board of England? So we've, we've uh, puppeted England, Scotland, and Wales, uh, and also conquered Ireland. We've taken all of these places, and now we're just preparing for the invasion into Austria. Uh, they have volunteers for United... Polish state has volunteers. Oh. Yes, so I need 81 more political power before I can actually have a chance to uh, nick their face. A Turkish cannot managed to completely destroy the Russian state and actually make them their goddamn puppet, which is just insane. If I did say, it's just, just insane. Alferno, buddy, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me. Poland gotten very, very right indeed. So we are, of course, Poland. We conquered an absolute crap ton of territory. And now we're just waiting to become awesome. Uh, I'm basically now just waiting for a political power game until I'm able to grab... I'm not even taking national focuses until I'm able to grab uh, my deliciousness. Wait, why is it? Oh, and it's combined syndicates of America have declared war in the Pacific states of America. To be expected. Why am I making such little num nums? Num nums? <laughs> num nums. You know what I mean? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking any focuses. I need so much political power. It is crazy. In fact, that's a question. Is there any um, focuses here that actually give me political power that I can get? No. 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 Damn it! I want political power. Come on. Nah. I'm half Polish. This is a very satisfying series. It is a damn fun series. I'm really enjoying it. Oh my god, that was loud. Uh, so we're getting some naval invasions. We have, uh, as we always do, we have suppression forces literally everywhere. We don't have a huge army. Uh, we're building quite a bit of dudes, though. 25 of them, actually. Which I'm I feel like I maybe should not be building 25 troops of these guys. I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the manpower for this. I also have a ridiculously large army on the suppression front. What are these guys? Oh, they're in the UK. That's my border force in the UK. We have 60 dudes over here on the borders, but I think we really need to start training actual cavalry units. Like, for example, more die, rebel, die divisions. Because, like, Jesus. In fact, we really need to get rid of some of these. Like, I don't know what we're doing with so many cavalry here. We do not need this much. In terms of suppression, yeah, it's 5.2, but it's better to build, because suppression, the military military police gives, how much suppression? 1.2 suppression, and a cavalry gives 2.6. Man, that does not make it very useful. So it makes more sense, to be honest, to actually just have an absolute shit ton of single divisions of cavalry with military police, and then just freaking swarm everything with it. Like, build, like, 50 goddamn divisions, but we do need them to actually uh, defend a few provinces, so we will have three, so they at least have some soft attack and defense values, and I may actually also give them engineer company, that's probably a great idea, uh, and now I'm going to train like 50 million of them, because I really do need quite a lot of them. And then that means we can maybe stop recruiting all these guys. We we don't really have the manpower for this, to be honest. In retrospect, I don't really have the manpower for that. Although I will be able to get Poland soon. I need the manpower more, I think. Yeah, I think we need more. Okay, so unfortunately we're still not able to grab that, which is sad. The 23, 23 divisions over here, hoping to go from Reggio de Calabria and take into uh, Sicily. We have 85 divisions that have formed a nice little border onto Poland. We're going to chuck an extra, the extra 20 there, forming 105 total divisions. Oh, baby. Uh, however, Austria does have more men than me, which is an unfortunate reality. Uh, I'm also going to chuck these tanks. Actually, I'll make these tanks their own dude with their own general. Ideally, with someone with Panzer. Vladislav Anders. Excellent. So we're going to try and capitulate uh, Vienna as quickly as possible here. The river is a problem, but the problem is we don't want to go too much into mountain territory. we got to make sure we avoid mountain wherever possible. And over here, it's like nothing but mountain. Actually, no, this is fine. Well, we could go here. There we go. We just go along that route. Because uh, in mountains, these guys... Oh, no, but I'll hit river if I do that. Shit. 
Alright, we'll go there instead. There we are. Put those tanks on that division front. We have outdated equipment in production. How are we doing for equipment in general? We're actually stupid good. Which is really, really nice. Uh, what are we missing? So we need to increase battleship production. Okay, we'll just build one of those. Is there anything else we're missing or out of date in? There are literally hundreds of production. I find it funny you left the one nation that basically borders your capital to the end of your conquest. Uh, well, I left Austria alone, Nightmare, um, if you haven't seen the rest of the series. The reason I left them is because they were they were too big. I couldn't, I couldn't touch them. I, it was easier to conquer all these because we took Germany when Germany was fighting France. It was very, very easy to take Germany very quickly. And then France was taken very quickly because their forces were distracted and weakened. It was just like a very big push. Wait, what is this? Why does the French Republic own Poitiers? Poitiers. That is disgusting. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. That is visually sickening. I don't like that at all. <laughs> um, we do have extra military factories, but the problem is I am unable to justify them until I get enough political power. Which is very depressing. Doobie doobie doo. Why is it still... That's a bit of lag. That's a bit of lag. Unfortunately, we are not able to get up uh, enough of anything. Oh, I'm actually... Oh, that was what I was doing. I was planning on building an entirely... Um, that's what I was doing. I remember my strategy now. I was planning on literally standing still and letting them throw themselves at me for a while because they have about a hundred and twenty. Yeah, they have about two hundred more divisions than me. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Now I remember. K f m crazy old Alger Hill forgetting how to play his own game. So maybe we'll just add like another extra twenty-five dudes. There we go. We made a whoopsie. That's okay. Because it's going to be a long while before we can actually take anything. Ah, just not having the political power is just so depressing. Oh. Wait. Need... I only need three political power to justify these assholes? That's that's fine by me. Um, We could take Switzerland if we wanted. Are there any resources in Switzerland? There's a little bit of aluminium. You know what? We actually do need some aluminium. I like aluminium. Aluminium is nice. It's a delicious nutrients. Oh, increase in stability. There it is. Oh yes. And our minister has died. That's a shame. Uh, so you, you're gonna, you're gonna give me your, your shit. Yeah. What? What's? The, why are they different costs? Six more political power. <laughs> Aluminium. Oh, there is that Aldra fish emote. Yes. Spamming that fish emote for YouTube to see. Well, and you forget if you're a subscriber on my channel, Twitch channel. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. There it is. We'll take Switzerland first, and then we'll take the, uh, the Austrians. Whew. All right. We're building some dudes. Literally as quickly as possible. We'll put these guys in Essen. And when we put these guys in Essen, what we can do then is we can actually start to, uh, replace the divisions that we have. We can actually take some of the actual infantry divisions that are kicking around and put them, you know, in the fight, which would be really nice. Because we also do still need to cover this entire front line. Oh, do I own this? No, it's Albania. Okay, cool. So I need to cover this entire front line. Like this entire section, this bit, this bit, this bit, and this bit. Uh, otherwise, they're going to touch my butt. And I don't, I, don't want, I don't want that. We are building forts to kind of uh, get them to throw themselves at us a fair amount. You want cheese and multi-use knives that badly? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I need I need the Swiss cheese. I need knives that do lots of things somewhat well. It's just the reality of the situation. It's the reality. Could I trade anything to you butt faces? No, of course not. I really do need some resources, though. Could I please have some rubber? Thank you. Could I please have some oil? Okay, that's not that's not good. Give me give me give me uh It's not good, buddy. I, I need the oil. Why aren't you giving me my oil, yo? There we go. And the aluminium we can get more from these guys. It does of course take quite a lot of our factories away. But I'd rather that. Oh my god, I get it, I'm being naval invaded. Doesn't no one cares. Right, we have political power back, but I need to wait until um the war is actually able to be declared. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do shit until the war kicks off. Oh, I have paratroopers that are sitting here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Because these paratroopers need to be in their own division slot. 
There's one more paratrooper who's sneaking around somewhere. Like a sneaky snake. There he is. No more sneaky snaking for you, buddy. Alright, we're gonna put you guys in a fallback line. Just just there. Just put you right there. Good stuff. Prentice Colin, TFT here I come. Good luck, Poland Gun Right. Thanks so much for all the Love to see you again and hope to see you in future streams. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we now can take another political focus. Because I need more time to build factories. Oh my god, I get it, I'm being attacked. Oh, I actually get 20,000 manpower as well, so that's cool. Ruthenian border dispute, seize Polish Galicia. Kind of already done that. Yeah. I guess we can start building dockyards. Poland gone right, I love that. Alright, and... Yep, we're just gonna wait a little while longer. Because we definitely need some navy, because we're going to want to try and invade into America. Yeah. Yeah, who plays TF2 anymore? <laughs> I have so many dockyards. That's all right, I'll do those later. Hey, man, he wants to play TF2. He can play what he likes. He's just wrong. He's just wrong. Uh, so I do actually need some troops to attack into this. So I might use this tank force. There you go. And there's loud people screaming outside my window. Fantastic. Uh, so can I, can I have some soldiers, maybe, who will actually defend us? Yeah, let's check, uh, let's check these guys and these guys and put them on that front. Perfect. It's not like they have any troops anyway. Oh my god, they have like 80 troops. What the shit? They have like a bunch of soldiers, man. What the hell? You ever had borscht from an Eastern Polish man? It's the white version. I don't think I've ever had borscht. No. Oh is it good? Is it is it delicious? Oh my God! There are so many bad men here. I say bad men, but they're actually you know just trying to survive and do their thing. All right, we're just fighting against the Swiss. Seventh of November. Because we, we really can't take these guys until we have more soldiers of our own. Right, so we can now recruit these guys. Okay, I think we can also bring these guys back now. I think Poland, I think they're, uh, England's now fine. Alright. I will admit, if you weren't Polish, it can be tough to stomach. What, what's in, what is in Borscht? What, what is in that? I feel like I'm going to regret asking that question. So they only need 45 divisions, so... Let's get the good ones out of here. I don't think we need this many divisions. No, not these ones. Because do these guys even have rebe They don't even have rebellion, so I have way too many soldiers on this front line. Alright, so let's put... God damn it. I did not mean to do that. Where'd they all go? What the fuck? What? Oh, they just went back to Polish suppression. Okay. No, they didn't. They're over here. I just lost control of the army because I don't know how this game works and I'm bad. Um, so let's put these guys right here. They'll also go to burn. Awesome. Show my division templates. Yeah, man, no problem. So my main division template is the Divisini Pichaka Chaka Chaka, which is a standard 7-2. Uh, and I really should put on some, some field hospital, but I don't yet have it researched. Oh my god, why don't I have field hospital researched? Jesus. Die rebels die for military suppression. Three calf military police. Uh, this kind of crappy tank division I don't even use. Uh, Marines I haven't used yet. Paratroopers, pretty basic stuff, just 10 slots. And my Polsky divisions, which are my new tanks, which are just normal medium tanks and motorized infantry. Wait, can I put maintenance on these guys? No, I haven't got a maintenance company yet. Shit. I should really have maintenance company researched. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Someone call the police. But we now have nuclear reactors, which we'll build at some point. Because we still can't actually build nukes, so, you know, limited uses. Peru's declared war in Chile. These things happen. 
We've got a lot of planes just kicking around. Uh, I do have about 9,000 fighters. How many planes does uh, Switzerland have? 30. <laughs> I think I'm going to be fine. I think, I think we're going to be fine, guys. Uh, let's check a whole bunch of close air support as well. Jesus, we have a lot of fighters. Oh my god. Why am I why am I not able to search for individual types of units? Why do I have to fucking scroll manually through this gigantic list? Ridiculous. There we go. That was that was just lucky. <laughs> there we go. Can't wait to shove a bunch of planes. Make your plane squadrons over 100 planes. No, I find that fighters are best to have 200 and close air support to have 100. But I made the close air support 200 because I'm a little dumb dumb. God, why is this still deploying? Jesus. Oh, hey, we built all our forts. Good job, guys. So we have level 2 forts literally everywhere now. I want level 3 forts. I've decided this. So we're going to put level 3 forts literally over every single inch in the world. Uh, not there, because it's not needed. Too many. So this, these, these three forts, these level 3 forts are going to ensure that the, uh, the Austrians suffer a lot more than us. Because we are going to need to, like, bomb the crap out of them. Because the general plan was to do, like, a big tactical bombing run onto them. Make them run out of supplies like crazy. And then annihilate them. Yes, we have to repair the factories afterwards. But honestly, oh man, I hate going around and clicking tiny little fucking bits. It's really frustrating. There we go. Oh, we're going to need a little bit of troops in that front as well. Jesus. <sighs> so, kibs, kielbasa, butter, garlic, cloves, vinegar, sour cream, leeks, onions, margarine, bay leaves, horseradish, dill, flour, black pepper, and eggs, and a mess. You ferment it. Oh my god. That sounds awful. Please have combat with. Yes, they do, but the 200's the fine. As far as I'm aware. Right, let's attack the Swiss. Hello. Hello. You guys go in the Polish theater as well. What are these two troops doing? There you go. Oh, man, they are just getting in there, aren't they? Starting to grab other bits of territory, which I'm not happy with. But we're pushing into taking some towns, which is great. Oh, yeah, they can't stop us. Get out of here. Baby. Oh, I didn't really need to worry then. That's fine. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really need to worry. Okay. I don't think we need any more of these guys. How many hours do I have in Hearts of Iron 4? I have... 401 hours. I just ticked over to 401. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I help you? There we go. We're going to just take burn for ourselves. Delicious burn. Feel the burn, ladies and gentlemen. And they're dead. That was bloody easy. I love taking small countries. Even the ones that have an industrial powerhouse or a large military. There's still nothing they can do. Bye, lol. Cool. Oh, wow. That was a lot of equipment. Okay. So, we're going to put this general guy, he's going to be on this border here. His job is to somehow get to this front. We are also going to chuck these 50 guys back onto the general front. There you go. Good for you. We got 13 paratroopers here, ready and waiting to paratroop as and when required. Like I said, you are the love it or make it vomit. It looks like sour milk with meat chunks. Oh, God. Ah, uh, annexation of Switzerland. We're going to occupy them. Woo! God, look at all those factories we just gained. Holy shit. All right. I feel like I should have radar stations. I haven't researched radar stations. I'm fucking bad at this game. I am so bad at this game. I lost my armored spearhead. You're an armored spearhead. Oh, I mean, you're right. I did lose my armored spearhead. Whoopsie ding dongs. Can't lose that. Let's find my armored spearhead again. You're absolutely right. I did lose my armored spearhead. Thank you very much. Gotta make sure you have my little spearhead. 
So these guys can go straight to VN. Yeah, better question is my time in E4. Yeah, my time in E4 is... 1,708 hours. Jesus. You got my back. Jesus has got my back. Oh, baby. Well, I got you now, Evangelical Preachers. What are you going to do? Kickstart the new Navy. Brilliant. All right, let's have a political power, and then we're going to start the preparations for the invasion. Get a life. Never! Okay, so we're going to need to now make sure we have another general's force of troops. On probably like here, because that's going to be a big thing to defend over there. So again, I think there is still too many soldiers here. Oh shit! Yeah, we got all these guys. Oh fuck! Oh, it's not a port, is it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. You're getting kind of bored of E4? Well, it's all about finding challenges. Take a break from it. I find that helps a lot. Take a little break from the game and come back to it later. I sometimes take a few months off the game, off from these kind of games. Oh, you don't have common sense. Well, yeah, without common sense, it's going to be really fucking bad. That's going to suck for you, buddy. Um, so now let's join these guys over here. Giving us 32 total divisions on that front. And what we can do is we can just take... So we need to take 8 off them, so... Four, five. We got five divisions off from them now. We're getting a lot of different like battleships and shit, which is really cool. Where the bloody hell is the rest of them? All right, let's set. Let's set. F okay, let's get f six out. That means you get two more out. Okay. So these guys are out. Excellent. And then we can just divide them over the rest of this kind of unguarded territory. Kind of like two each. And that way, every little bit of territory is defended. I know that's really, like, disgusting to look at, but... Perfect. There we go. So that means every little bit of ground that they could cover has been covered. Cry for secure, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. You're just in time for the very end of this episode. Uh, this episode is, of course, recorded live at twitch.tv slash Aldra Hill. playing some Hearts of Men for Kaiserreich Austria. Do be sure to check out the other series I have on my channel. And, of course, do also leave me a like and a comment. And also check out my Patreon. Links are in the description. I just finished a lovely new video for that. So I was Aldra Hill. I'll continue to be. And this has been some Hearts of Men for Kaiserreich playing Austria. Bye-bye.